Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Yunus from Edge Pro Software Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to close our previous J frame while opening new J frame. See what is happening is when I am running this program. Okay. And I will log in. Okay. See what I am going to tell you is this new form is open. Okay. Along with this new form, the previous form is also visible in the back back side. Okay. So what I want to do is I want this form to be closed before opening this form. Okay. That's why uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. Today. First of all go to your login form uh, login j frame next go to source here <coughs> let us write one method here let us write one method okay public void was This method we are going to write window event win closing event okay. is equal to new window event <coughs> in brackets. Let us write this comma window event dot uh, let us take yeah window closing <coughs> okay window closing next line we are going to import to the page dot get default toolkit dot get system event queue dot post event when closing event okay writing this now go to the design select button events mouse mouse click button code we have written this code in our previous video where it will ask us it can confirms whether that user name and password is correct and our new jframe form will open after checking the username and password from my sql database okay under this section wherever you see this username and password is correct you just write close okay <coughs> set visible to let us write this close here the username and password is correct after set visible true you have to write okay close i think it will be better let us check it out i should think it should be written Will be better to write here itself because whenever this username password is correct is checked, it will go to our new employee info JFrame. So after confirmation, 
it should close this so we have to write here only okay close Counting mistakes today. Right now, after doing this, what we have to do is this close method should be copied. And one more thing, you have to import these two things: import Java dot awt dot star and import Java dot awt dot event dot window event these two packages you have to import okay these two packages uh, most probably we are done now let us see by running our program working you can see now the previous j frame disappears and our new j frame is visible now and you have to do one more thing before that select your login form and design go to property select this j frame and uh, select this j frame go to properties Here, design properties. Okay, not necessary. For now, it's okay. You can see it's, everything is working fine. Thank you. Comment and subscribe. Hope you learned something new today. Okay. Once again, I want to show you in login JFrame form. We are going when we run our program. This this form is opening. Along with the new employee info form, what we are going to do is just we want to close this J frame and open this new J frame. Okay, that's what we are doing here. We'll just write these two lines of code: window event when closing event is equal to new window event. This comma window event dot when closing window closing toolkit dot get default toolkit dot get system event queue dot post event when closing event. And uh, you have to import these two libraries packages. Okay. Next, you have to add this close. Just under the username and password is correct. After verification, our uh, verifying our username and password from MySQL database, that form should be closed while opening new employee info form. It. It closes previous J frame that is login form and opens employee info form. Okay, for now that this is okay, guys. Now hope you enjoyed. Let us close it here. Comment and subscribe. Okay, let's meet in next video.